I made this video a while back where I shared a simplified version of my ChatGPT4 mid-journey prompt generator, and that looked like this. Now if you want to go through and check out that video, I will link it down in the description below. Now everybody seemed to love that video, and I asked that if I actually made this available to purchase, my ultimate colour and page prompt generator, would anybody be interested? And most people said yes. So it is now available. Now stick around and watch all of this video because nearer the end of the video I am going to share with you some examples of colour and pages that I created using my ultimate colour and page prompt generator just like this and I'm also going to share with you the prompt used to create this as well. And as you can see once fully formatted just like this this looks pretty good. So if you want to come and check out my ultimate colour and page prompt generator, there will be a link down in the description below. Now I highly suggest just coming through and having a little read of the sales page, because there is a couple of things that you need. You obviously are going to need ChatGPT4, that's the version which I actually created this with. And you're obviously also going to need a mid-journey account. Now if you have both of these things, then my ultimate colour and page prompt generator is definitely for you. Now I actually added a brand new training video in here today in the ultimate colour and page prompt generator going through the steps of turning your pages into covers. So we turned this one into this, which actually looks really good. This is one of my favourite ones. I really love the dash of pink, the leaves, the blue behind, and just everything about it. But then we also turned this one into that. I just shared the whole process of how you can turn almost any colouring page into a coloured image so you can use it for your covers. Now one thing to note and that is you can't just take one of your colouring pages and have mid-journey colour it in. There's no way you can actually do that because that's not what mid-journey is designed to do. But you can take one of your colouring pages and then get mid-journey to create a very similar page in that style and all coloured in. So as you can see, they actually look pretty good. So with the ultimate colour and page prompt generator, you're going to be able to create almost any type of colour and page or a colour and page on almost anything that you like, but then you're also going to be able to turn them into covers. So now, if I actually wanted to go ahead and create this Fox colouring book, I could take this coloured in image, go over to my preferred software, and then start designing the cover, adding the title, and all of that good stuff. But I just wanted to share that with you because that's a brand new training video which I added in there today. Now, stick around with me because I do have some more information about the colouring page prompt generator which I want to share with you, and I'm going to share with you some example prompts on what it actually creates. So if we come over to here, this is going to be all of the information that you feed into ChatGPT4 to turn it into a prompt generator. Now I know you can't see any of this because I have blurred it out. I've had to blur it out for obvious reasons because this is all the information that we train ChatGPT4 on. But I just wanted to scroll through this slowly. Again, I'm sorry that you can't actually see this, but I wanted just to share with you all of the information or the amount of information that we actually feed to ChatGPT4 to actually do this. Now, if we keep scrolling through here, we can see that it's actually quite a lot of information. But again, once that we've actually fed all of this information to chat gpt4 we can then ask it to create almost any type of coloring page and then it's going to give us a highly detailed prompt for mid journey now those prompts are going to look just like this now with this set of five prompts i asked it to create a cute and adorable teddy bear holding a heart surrounded by hearts. 
These are what it gave me. Now it always gives you five prompts, but you can adjust that if you want, just to one, two, three, four. I've stayed at five because I have found anything above five, then it just doesn't really give you as good prompts. But nonetheless, this is what it gave me. Now I am going to show you examples of what it created as well later on in the video. But right here, it gives us the aspect ratio. Now this has recently been changed because all of this just here, this ultimate color and page prompt generator is version one. Now I will be updating further down the line to version two, version three, version four, and so on. But because this is my older version, I actually haven't changed it to aspect ratio 17 by 22. That's what I now use instead of two by three. But then it also gives us a bunch of parameters. V5, Q2, Style 750. Now sometimes these look amazing, sometimes they don't. But the whole point of this is this just here, and that's the actual prompt. So let's read one of these. It says, create a captivating colouring page featuring a lovable teddy bear nestled within a sea of hearts. The teddy bear, with its cute, soft appearance, should be illustrated in the centre of the page, gently grasping a large heart. Now you can go through and read these if you want, but I have some more examples which I want to share with you. The second set is this just here, and for this I asked it to create a charming fox sleeping peacefully in its cosy den. Now again, you can pause the video and take a look. Then I have some more examples just here, which I'm quickly going to run through as well. And with this set of prompts, I asked it to create a close-up portrait of a giraffe surrounded by daisies and wearing sunglasses. Now, if we go over to Mid Journey, we can now take a look at what these prompts actually generated. So these are the first ones just here. These are the teddy bears. Now, these do have a slight gray scale to them, which I don't see as an issue. See, many people are trying to sell grayscale coloring books to people who don't really want grayscale coloring books. Now, if you are going to create any images with grayscale in them, always mention them in your description so that people actually know that they are going to be grayscale. But nonetheless, if we take a look at these, they actually look pretty good. Now there's a little bit of an error on this one, but you could easily edit that out. But nonetheless, it looks pretty good. That one looks good, that one looks good, this one looks good, and so does this one. This one's actually my favorite. Now if we take a look at the prompt used, it was this one just here. Now, these are actually my favorites just here, these foxes. All those five prompts that it generated, one of those created these four just here, and another one created these four just here. Now, what I like to do is take all five prompts, go over to Mid Journey, plug them all in, and then start taking a look at what it's generated. Then I find the ones that I like, and then I start creating from there. So with these ones, these look very, very good. It's a very simple line art, very kind of minimalistic, and with no grayscale whatsoever. If we carry on just going through these, we can take a little look, and I just think that these look pretty great. Now, if we take a look at the next four, these are actually my favorites, and I think these turned out amazing. Now, if we scroll down, we can see that the prompt used was this one just here. If we quickly go back onto that one, you can see this was the prompt used on this one as well, two different prompts. But if we take a look through these, we can see that these are actually really great quality. These are actually my favorite ones by far. Now let's quickly just go through these so you can see them. There we go. Then we have these giraffe ones. So these were a little bit harder to create. Now I had to make quite a few variations to get these and these still aren't amazing, but they would be getting there if I carried on doing variations and just trying to create it better. We have the giraffe, we have the daisies, and we have the sunglasses. Now the prompt used for this was this one just here. But if we scroll through these, we can see that they actually look pretty good. But out of all these examples, these ones just here are definitely my favorite. And once we actually formatted these, they looked even better.
which we can see just here. So I took those images, I went and upscaled them, I used bigjpeg.com, my favourite upscaler, and then I added them into Canva, I kind of cropped them a little bit, added a black border, and then added a drop shadow. And as we can see, these look really good. These are definitely my favourite out of the examples which i just shown, with this second one being my favourite out of all of them. I love these little stars behind, the little sun, the clouds, the light texture to the colouring page as well. I just think that this looks amazing. Same with this one and this one. Now I also did those simplified ones, which are these ones just here, which also look really good. Now, if I told you that these weren't generated with AI, then you'd probably have no idea. And that's the aim of the game. You want to create colouring pages that you'd have no idea that were generated by AI. And again, looking at these, you probably would never guess in a million years that these were generated with AI. Now, again, if you want to come and check this out, there will be a link down in the description below. But do you actually need this ultimate colouring page prompt generator? Probably not. This just speeds up your workflow and it can generate some really nice colouring pages from the prompts that it generates. Now again, if you want to come and check this out, you can get here by going to stackingprofit.com forward slash cppg or there will be a link down in the description. Now one quick side note which I quickly want to mention and that is that I play around with my ultimate colouring page prompt generator all the time. I just like playing around, seeing what I can create. So now, what I'm actually going to start doing is sharing my creations in my Facebook group. Now, I'm also going to share the prompt that I used. So I actually created this just for fun. I formatted it, made it look good, and then shared it within my group. And as you can see just here, I also shared the prompt. So what I'm going to do is start doing this a few times a week just to share my creations. So if that's something that you're interested in, then there will be a link down below to come through and join the group. Now, that's everything which I wanted to share. Come through, check out the ultimate colouring page prompt generator to see if it's for you. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to watch the rest of my AI videos, then click right here and watch this playlist.